John. All right, thank you, Victor. Good morning, everyone. This is the IPFS Allens call of March 26, 2018. Um, if you haven't already, please add your items that you want to discuss, questions to ask or demos to show to the agenda. Uh, the crypt pad is linked from the GitHub issue, or perhaps we can also link it here on the Zoom chat. Um, I'll be the moderator for today. We still need a note taker. Is there a volunteer to be a note taker? I can do it. All right. Can you still hear me fine? Okay. Cool. It's okay. Rob volunteer to be the note taker. Thank you so much. We have the recording and yeah, checklist done. All right. Let's start with the first item. Welcome new people. I see some new faces here uh, and some returning faces from uh, holidays. Do people want to say hi? Who hasn't been in this call before? Well, you don't have to say hi if you don't want to. All right. Hi, Forrest. Good to see you back on the calls. <laughs> um, cool. So let's go into the next item. Interest in the live stream of an application building of application building on IPFS. Victor, two minutes. Um, so it's just a quick uh, understanding if people would be interested in some live streams would be kind of ad hook and focus on, on building applications on IPFS and going through some of the basics, but also diving down based on the, on the audience. The, it was a suggestion uh, to me from someone who wanted to know more and learn the most from seeing things actually being implemented with IPFS. So I thought I would ask and see if there is, if that's something people are actually interested in, uh, possibly helping out with to, to sit together in the live stream or just listen in, in general. Uh, Robin and me. Uh, I, I would be super interested in, in seeing something like that and sitting in on it. Um, I don't know that I have a whole lot to contribute to running or leading it though. Um, I, I, is there an issue to track this proposal, this work, uh, to gather interest, like, so that people can like, leave their username if they want to know more? Uh, not yet, no. I can create it though, and I will put it in the IPFS community repository, I assume. It probably would be better in IPFS notes. Typically, that's where we put all of the technical projects, technical endeavors. Okay. Uh, when, yeah. I will add an issue there. Yeah. I, I also remember that you made a tiny app a while ago that was kind of like uh, meet space but on IPFS or chat roulette, depending like, <laughs> which one you use more. Uh, is that still on? Uh, it, it should be, I think. Uh, there, were, there were some performance issues last time I tried uh, to parse the image data uh, last time. But the idea is basically to like uh, implement these simple things and then figure out better ways to run it and, and so on. But that will be a, a, good, a good time to go through those kind of simple applications uh, and show how you can actually build those things. I really feel the need to have like a, a dashboard of like all of these applications that people can just like enter and like it's a gallery of all of these hacks. And so you just like click and, and check it out uh, to get inspiration from, or just like to play with IPFS, that would be fun. Go ahead, Peter. So funny you say that uh, because there is a proposal in the awesome IPFS uh, repository. So basically, awesome IPFS is uh, for those who don't know, it's a 
repository with a lot of resources. It's blog posts, articles, tutorials, example apps, real production apps and things. I actually made a proposal in that uh, repository to make it more into a gallery uh, where we can have screenshots and GIFs and stuff to, to just go to our website and you can click instead of just one giant list. I would link the, the issue to that in the in the notes. Sweet, thank you so much. All right, any more questions for Peter's proposal? Sounds good. Okay, let's go to the next item, IPFS desktop version 0 0.4. Lidl, is this a demo? Show us the demo. Oh, it's like a very quick announcement. Uh, that we uh, actually Henrik uh, just uh, made this release and uh, I quickly put it here so that uh, the more people are aware that we have this small application uh, it will grow bigger at some point but right now uh, this is a quick release with a lot of bug fixes the main feature is that files tab uh, is exposing a mutable file system instead of like <laughs> what it was before and there should be a automatic migration to the MFS if anyone had any files in the old abstraction uh, behind the file stop and it's just a quick shout out uh, to check and if you find any problem please report on what platform and we would really appreciate some feedback Yeah, David. Um, wait, wait. Watch out. Um, <laughs> um, do we have a blog post for this announcement? Like no, no. Like uh, it's just a small, small uh, bug fix release. Uh, but uh, I felt that it uh, would be a good idea to announce it so that people from internal all hands call, uh, call uh, can uh, report any issues before we uh, jump to the bigger releases. Uh, there will be more exciting things uh, ahead of us, but right now I don't feel this one uh, is like blog post uh, worth it yet. Hmm. Okay. Um, we might still use things like Reddit or Twitter just to announce it. After all, it's an application made for uh, all kinds of users and so um, yeah yeah like uh, it's just not uh, I, I'd say it's not a public ready release it's mostly uh, performance tweaks mm -hmm. and so we just prefer to keep it uh, uh, under the hood for now sounds good any questions for Lidl who has IPFS desktop installed on their machine ah, see some hands you like using it? It's how you add files to IPFS every day? I see some nodding. I still have a weird bug with it on OS X, so. Okay. Please report it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just bump it. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> exactly. If you use it, and if it is not your favorite tool yet, please tell us why. <laughs> cool, okay. Uh, I don't see more hands. I'll go to the next point, which is, OKR drafts for 20 minutes. So we had, we had said, I don't know if my connection is stable enough, but I, I so let me know if we're breaking out. Uh, but um, we had said that all of the working groups were gonna show drafts of their OKRs yeah. on this call. Um, and they were all gonna have them entered in the spreadsheets, the in the OKR spreadsheet before this call. Um, no working group has entered their OKRs into the spreadsheet. So, in order to finish working on their OKRs. Uh, Matt, you cut exactly when you were like going to make your suggestion. Uh, let's use this time to f figure out what the working groups need in order to finish their OKRs. Are people blocked on anything? Do they need help with something? Or is it just they needed a couple more days to get their OKRs moving along? Like uh, I can uh, like provide some feedback from in web browsers and GUI working group. We had 
like an hour ago a call related to creating the draft and i'd say we need like at least one more day to make it uh, presentable and to apply uh, like move it from markdown to spreadsheet so I, I i think at least one other group had meeting today or will have the meeting tomorrow so it may be a similar follow this david do you want to just run down the, my connection's no good do you want to just run down the list of working groups that you have in the readme tab and just call out each group and see what they need uh i'll do that let's just give a uh, chance for victor yeah the exam help uh yeah i was gonna answer to if we were blocked so i i've sent out the invitation to all the the leads of the different working groups since the uh my working group is a supporting group for the other working groups so i need you to tell me what you need for the last quarter before i can set my okrs so i already spoken with lido and uh, and hector but the rest of you need to reply to me So I'm going to share my screen. Can folks see my screen right now? Uh, cool. So yeah, Victor, I got your message. Let's well, like schedule a call so that you have the all information you need. So we know now that from QA, what is missing is just like having a conversation. Let's go to the other ones. Um, Shall we start with from the bottom? So infrastructure, is Hector or Wyatt uh, present in this call? I know Lars is off. Okay. So, oh, exactly, infrastructure, uh, Kyle or Lars, not Hector or Wyatt. Ky Kyle is here, right? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, I think Lars was. Uh, I think we we're going to meet with Lars tomorrow to talk about this. Uh, he had to. He had to pass out. He's like trying to adjust his sleep schedule right now. He was working on some infrastructure stuff that needed to happen. So, uh, are you blocked on something to to create the OKRs, or it's just like a question of days? Is, is that it? Uh, to create the OKRs in the spreadsheet, or to accomplish some of the things, the OKR objectives. To create the OKRs for the next quarter. Oh, um, no, I don't think anything's blocking on it right now. Do you, um, so are you planning to have them this week? Is uh, this what we are trying to figure out right now. Yeah, uh, well, I think, I, I think Laura said we we're going to do, do this tomorrow. I'll get back to you. All right. Uh, IP fast cluster. I think Hector is on vacation and why it's not on, or I didn't see him. Okay, so let's make sure to follow up with Wyatt. Um, well, QA, we already have done, unless, Victor, you have something else to add. Sounds good. Oh. IP fast in web browser. So, Lidl, you share an update? Any, anything else? No, no, we're good. Cool. Dynamic data. Uh, Pedro is not in this call. It typically doesn't work for him. Uh, I'll reach out to him and, and catch, catch up. IPLD and data structures on IPLD. So Volker and Stephen, do you have any? Uh, I feel deep. Mm -hmm. Not much has happened this quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the question that yeah. we are trying to what answer we is, to yeah. To we just didn't have a call to talk about it. Okay. Uh, do you need help setting up the call? Yeah, or? we can set it up. Okay. Sounds good, Volker? Good. Or do you want to just communicate over IRC, or what do you want to do? Uh, whatever works. Like, like I so uh, just to explain, I was the conference the last week, and today I was just catching up. So I planned it for today doing the OKRs, but yeah, I will do them tomorrow probably. Okay. And then we can catch up. That's good. All right. Great. Sweet. Um, go IPFS. Jeremy. Hey, what's up? Um, we'll get to it. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, Jazz IVFS, it's me uh, and everyone that's contributing. Uh, I'll bring this up during today's Jazz IPFS weekly sync up uh, as one of the items for us to tackle this week. Um, and then core working group. Like, you want to take this one, Matt? 
Yeah, it's mainly a just a scheduling thing. Everyone's busy, so getting everyone lined up to, to plan them has been difficult. All right, so we do have this really nice spreadsheet with all of these colors that I really hope that like, everyone enjoys filling. Uh, do we need to have any other specific sync up this week so that we feel confident that we will start the next quarter with OKRs defined? Or is that like adding too many calls to an already pretty busy week? Just the reminder that was the goal was to have the OKRs effectively ready to freeze by next Monday. So next Monday on this call, you would be saying, here is our final draft of our OKRs. Um, can we... Is, is anyone that feeling like they need, need yeah. more in order to do that? Like, who wouldn't feel capable of having a list of OKRs by next Monday that they are confident that they are the ones to enter in the second quarter? Um, and if they are not confident, what would be the reason? Like, how can we make sure to support that working group to have the information they need in order to, to select the OKRs for next quarter? <clears throat> That was a very long and running um, question there that you asked. Um, what was the beginning of it again? Uh, I'm asking, can you have the OKRs for your working group by next Monday, ready to freeze? Like 60% chance. Okay. Is there anything we can do as a group to get you to 100%? Probably not, no. Unless you have like a time machine or some temporal distortion devices that could, you know. <laughs> Let me get back to you on that. <laughs> uh, would it be helpful to try to sync up again Thursday or Friday just to make sure that we, as we enter the process of writing them, we have a moment to clear out all the questions before we come up again to this call to then freeze them? I don't know, it's just mostly like finding time to sit down with people. Okay. It's just, yeah. So it seems like people just need more time. Like that, that's essentially like the number one problem of all the other problems. Um, let's follow up by email maybe this Wednesday, just just as, as a reminder and just like a quick check-in and, and yeah, let, let's support each other by making sure that like we check each other's spreadsheets to see <laughs> the state and, and remind everyone that uh, we do have this goal for next Monday. Does it sound reasonable to everyone? I see some thumbs up. Sweet. Awesome. Um, thank you. Cool. Anything else, Matt, that you add on this uh, item? I guess not. Um, let's go to the next agenda item, which is a demo. MFS scoping for IPFS files exposed via window.ipfs. Tell us about it, I'm guessing. Yeah, know. yeah. So it's uh, just surface, sur surfacing uh, another great pre-recorded demo by Alan. Uh, it's an ongoing, uh, change we have a pull request to our browser extension and general idea is uh, that all calls to the mutable file system which is under ipfs files will be transparently uh, scoped so all operations on files will have uh, a specific uh, path prepended to all api calls which will effectively sandbox uh, content of a web application that is using uh, files API. It will isolate uh, data from uh, like data uh, between uh, apps so that one application cannot uh, read or write uh, data 
added uh, in fact by other application and only user which has access to the root of files api can like manage uh, data from all apps uh, we are still trying to figure out how to name things like for example what should prefix be how should we uh, handle protocols which have uh, semicolons in them and stuff like that uh, but this should be uh, merged before our really next release of ipfs companion and quite soon we will have a release candidate maybe next week so it's uh, a, if anyone has a, a, some idea how uh, this uh, api could be used in a distributed application uh, that's a good moment to provide some feedback and uh, the demo is like two minutes it's quick demo so you can watch it on YouTube. Any questions? Yeah, Victor? I have a question to, to satisfy my own curiosity um, because I, I tried to implement this myself, but I couldn't figure out how to handle when going to the parent directory. So how do you handle, how do you prevent people from just going up and then up and then down to the other yeah. applications? I'm, I, uh, last time I checked, it was that if you are already on the like, root of the scope of your application and you try to go one level higher, you will get the same directory. So it's like, it will be like the, the ceiling, right? You, you are not able to go uh, higher. And that's a good question. Is it the correct approach or should we like, artificially create uh, an error uh, for this application, right? Oh, I think treating it like a truth is the right um, UX for that. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thank you. I related to these recorded demos. I was just thinking that at least me as a user of IPFS would really appreciate to have like a RSS feed uh, that is not the blog, but just like a feed of demos that comes from the community. And like anyone could subscribe and we could encourage everyone to do a, like these five minute recording demos to post there so that uh, people had a way to subscribe to see like all the demos that are coming. Like one of the things that I noticed is like there's a lot of like these tiny demos that are really exciting and always showcase something new, but they quickly get lost in the mountain of stuff that we keep putting out. Um, and so having a feed with all these YouTube videos uh, or whatever you upload the video to um, would be super useful. Uh, if people are interested in this or working on it, let me know. I'll create an issue and try to find time to make it if everyone likes the idea. All right, that, that was on my side note. Cool. So we don't have any more items on the agenda. We, oh, we finished just in 30 minutes as we have been doing so. So that, that's great. Um, I guess we can say this meeting has come to an end. If there is no more things, uh, see you all on the interwebs. And have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.